here with the Roger Williams Park Zoo. Sometimes better goes to the zoo. Other times the zoo comes to better, Debbie. Yes, and that is the case today. Dr. Jeremy Goodman, the executive director of the Roger Williams Park Zoo, is joining us along with Jen Rudolph, the zoo's manager and ambassador of animals. And this is their friend um, from Madagascar. Is oh, this a hedgehog? Yeah. She looks like a hedgehog. She's actually called a tenrec. A tenrec. So her, her full I've name. Never heard of that. A, yeah. <laughs> She's a Madagascar lesser hedgehog tenrec, but Will they get the name because. Pet her? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But what is she? She's so yeah, they're a small mammal that's native to Madagascar. <laughs> kind of um, like a I've never touched a hedgehog, but it's bristly, Similar. almost like a porcupine. Yeah. And they use it the same way. Have it's you touched a, a porcupine? Defense. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I imagine what that would do. <laughs> uh, it's, um, it feels a little bit like a Brillo pad. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like a bristle brush. And that really is what protects her. So if she were out in, a, you know, in the trees in Madagascar, she's going to um, use this for, for first to camouflage. So you okay. can imagine she looks like tree bark. If she gets scared, she lays flat against that tree. And she has, has a little muscle right on the top of her head that she can flex and it actually brings this fur up and covers her little nose. Oh, it's really cute. That's and cool. she blends in. Yeah. But she's wow. not doing that because she's, uh, she's one of those animals that's very yeah. trained. She's very comfortable yeah. being she touched is, yeah. and brought out to the public. Yeah. 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 Uh, all of our ambassador animals, mm -hmm. that's something that we take great pride in that they, they're very accustomed. Uh, you can't just take any animal out. They really, our, our, our uh, staff like Jen works really hard with all of our animals mm -hmm. to make sure that they're nice and comfortable even when we take them into the studio. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I see that they have nice long fingers too. Do they swim? Do they climb? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, she climbs. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. climbs. Yeah. Okay. I can't look at you from web. Yeah. Debbie's noticing your long limbs. Yes. <laughs> what's her, long what's her name? Gripping. Her name is Cagney. She has a Cagney. sister named Lacey. Lacey. Of course she oh. does. Of course oh, she does. Very nice. And so if you're thinking, wow, this is really cute, um, people may not realize this, even though you're in Rhode Island, you're very close enough to visit, but you also go and do school visits in Connecticut. Yeah, we, we, we go through uh, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, all over New England. So, okay. uh, yeah. How do we uh, sign up for that? What if we want the, you to bring Cagney to our school? <laughs> right, so if you go on the zoo's website, rwpzoo.org, um, you can click on uh, the appropriate tab for education and, uh, and all the information's on there on how to book programs. So we love when schools come out to the zoo, but if the school can't, we come to you. That's mm -hmm. great. I mean, I think those are the memories my kids have too, going yeah. through the younger Mine years. Too. Yeah. yeah, when the what zoo other, animals come in. Yeah. What other animals could come visit? Yeah, Does we have so many. There are actually uh, over 60 of them that can come, oh, right? Wow. So we have um, reptiles, so all sorts of different snakes, lizards. We have some raptors. Uh, we do have a porcupine, uh, hedgehog. Do monkeys <laughs> ever leave the zoo? Yeah, no, you no. wouldn't want a monkey to leave the zoo. Because I imagine I just idea. want to talk to the monkey, shake his hand, have fun. You don't do that? No, no, no. I'm, I'm the closest to, to that happening. <laughs> so, Debbie, you and I were talking about this. We need yeah. to make it a priority to go. I know you guys always Absolutely. come on, but it looks so amazing. Look, show some of these pictures. There's a Batman pumpkin. This is the pumpkin spectacular is coming up. Right, our Jack Lantern spectacular, and it is incredible this year. The theme this year is a journey to the library. So, all different sections of books and and uh, and whatnot. So, uh, we have uh, wizards and Harry Potter books, uh, yes, celebrities, <laughs> yes, um, you know, so, and, and the artwork on the pumpkin is, are just incredible, and uh, I saw that you had some of those giant pumpkins uh, earlier in the show, and yeah. we have just this big, we, um, all of our giant pumpkins come from the world record holder, so uh, um, we have some pumpkins close to 2,000 pounds that are, are nice. carved as well, so uh, incredible stuff going on this year. How do you do that? How do you get all these pumpkins carved? Is it by hand, by machine? How many people do it? So it's by hand, and we have a, actually a small army we, we partner with a company called passion for pumpkins <laughs> oh. and um, they have 17 uh, almost uh, almost 20 now um, artists that do all the intricates and then we have a small uh, assembly line of, of uh, carvers and gutters and uh, and things like that to make wow. it all happen because the pumpkins only last anywhere between four to seven days so we go through almost 30,000 oh pumpkins over the course <laughs> of the show uh, that's a quarter million pounds of pumpkin and wow. um, you know <laughs> there crazy. are pumpkins everywhere and it's just it's just such an incredible experience I know you've been out there for for the show as well and uh, um, you know it's something that is, is so much fun this year we're, we added theme nights as well during the week so okay. um, um, 
we have princesses, uh, we have uh, wizarding knights, uh, we have uh, superhero knights where you can come and meet your favorite costume characters as well. So um, it's a lot of fun. Those are Wednesdays and Thursday nights starting this week, and uh, they're on our value nights. How late can people go? Can they go after work? Or uh, absolutely. So our last ticket um, Monday through um, through Thursday sold at 10, and then on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, last ticket sold at 10:30. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, you have to buy your tickets online though, because they're all timed entry, mm -hmm. so. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's right. But if that's you come great. during the weeknights, uh, no lines, come right in, uh, right. less crowded, enjoy the show. It's, it's a great experience. And fun for all ages, which mm -hmm. is so nice and not that far mm -hmm. away. I love that. No, yeah. 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 And does um, Cagney <laughs> get the extras? Like, do they like to eat the pumpkins after <laughs> they've been scooped out? So uh, we do give <laughs> some of our, our animals pumpkin treats. Uh, our elephants <laughs> will have fun them. smashing them. And, oh, and, uh, it, it is a, a lot of fun. Some of our animals really do enjoy kind of uh, climbing through them and... Uh, Just and, not uh, Cagney, she's not into that. Cagney's not <laughs> really, yeah. <laughs> the rest get composted, though, so it's okay. eco-friendly. Whether it's uh, to go to the Jack o Spectacular or just spend the day enjoying the animals, making a trip to the Roger Williams Park Zoo is right nearby in Providence, and you can enjoy it anytime. The website is rwpzoo.org. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks.